Well, you've seen me create some crazy ass overpowered weapons in the past weapon combination videos. But today we're gonna be doing something different. Today I'm gonna be showcasing some of the weird slash funny weapons that can be created using the Weapon Mixer 5000. They may be impractical at some occasions, but they are super cool and funny. So here we go. Oh, and by the way, if you are new and you have no idea what the f I'm talking about, just stick around for a second, you'll see what's going on. So you come to this broom here, right, and you press this button, then you go to that corner and you press the red button, and you go back to the place we came from, and you'll see this panel emerge from the ground with a weird ass antenna on top of it. Now, you may notice that this looks a bit different, because this is not a Weapon Mixer 5000 anymore, this is a Weapon Mixer 6000, but it works kind of the same way. You can choose any weapon you want from this panel. Any weapon and any amount. Then you come here and press the combine button. And from this table will come out a single combined weapon that will have the parts of all the weapons you chose before. Now this may be a bit confusing right now. Because of that, I'm gonna show you an example so it's easier to understand. Alright, uh, I'm gonna explain the little people, the lever and the vodka a bit later. For now, let's keep it simple. Let's choose Negev and Galil AR. Then we go to this button, we press it, and from the table comes out this. Now, this is a very simple mix. It's a base of a Galil AR, but it has a bullet capacity of Negev, and it also shoots Negev rounds. It's basically Negev in a Galil AR shape. It's a wonderful example of what that machine can do. We can also name these weapons. For example, this one is a mix of Negev and Galil AR. So the combined name would be Neg... Um, you know what? I'll, uh, let's skip this one. I'll, I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you another. I'll show you another example. I'll show you another example. All right, let's um, let's create something exotic right now. Let's choose a butterfly knife, um, a bayonet, and uh, a sword off. And if we press the combine button, out comes what I call a sawderfly knife. Now, Sawderfly Knife is a unique short-ranged weapon. It has two sawed-offs attached to each other, and there's a bayonet going through in the middle. Sawed-offs act like normal weapons. You can shoot people at short range, but once you're empty and your bullets run out, you can do this. Yep, it turns into a f***ing sword. Empty sawed-offs act like handles, and the bayonet is the knife you can cut people with. Butterfly Knife that we chose contributed to this wonderful mechanism. It's a fantastic short-ranged dual shotgun and a f***ing sword at the same time. Okay, now I'll explain what that lever does. It's called an ultimate switch. Now, when you choose your weapons and you pull that switch, it enhances the weak points of the weapon. Let's just choose the Glock for this example. We pull the lever, then we go to the table and press the combine button, and out comes what I call the big black Glock. Now, a big black Glock is a wonderful tool. It is way more effective than a small white Glock that we see in game. With, the, with this, you can actually kill somebody. The bullets are the size of a cannonball. You can completely obliterate the enemy and even take down the whole cover they're hiding behind. We did like a little research and turns out this is the number one choice of a weapon by all female CSGO players. Along with P90Ts. Name a more iconic duel. Big Black Glock and P90Ts. Okay, let's get a bit more serious now. Let's choose the Op, the Negev, and a P90. This is what I call the Three Musketeers. If we press the Combine button, out comes Popgif. Popgif is not a weapon you mess around with. It has base of the Op, it shoots Op bullets at a fire rate of a P90, and it has a magazine capacity of a Negev. It's a lot of power combined in one gun. So you need godly strength to wield this weapon because of the goddamn recoil. This is fucking insane, man. Such a, such a simple mix, but it can potentially compete with Baba Yaga. Tell me which one you think is more powerful. This or Baba Yaga. All right, this one has actually been pointed out by a subscriber. We choose a Negev. And if we choose a smoke grenade, and if we combine these weapons, out comes what I call... Snoop Dogg. Have you ever been in a situation where you want to defend a site or something, but you don't have enough smokes? 
Well, Snoop Dogg is the best solution for that. It's the body of a Negev, but instead of bullets, it shoots out huge amounts of smoke. Let's say you're in a situation where enemies are coming from everywhere, you don't know what to do. This is what you do. You just burst out huge, huge amounts of smoke <coughs> everywhere. And enemies will be blinded, they won't see you again. <laughs> they won't even bother. <coughs> in fact, they might even become your friends. <laughs> Alright, now let's demonstrate what happens to a weapon when you mix vodka with it. Let's choose the R8 revolver. And choose the vodka. Bleh. <laughs> yes, it comes with that sound effect. Let's combine it and out comes what I call the Russian Roulette. Now you've probably heard about the original Russian Roulette game, but this is more like a single player version. As you can see it's two R8s attached to each other pointing forward and backwards, but it only has one trigger. So when you pull the trigger it either shoots in the front or in the back in your head. If none of your friends have balls to play Russian Roulette with you, this might be the best choice, but make sure you have as much fun as possible when you play it, because you can only play it once. Alright, let's do the vodka thing again. Let's choose P90 this time. Choose the vodka. <laughs> and, and pull the ultimate switch. And if we combine this, out comes what I call... P90. Thousand. P90 thousand is made of 9 P90 submachine guns and 8 vodka bottles to power them. Now don't be mistaken, this is not a spray and pray gun. This whole thing rotates, charges up with vodka boost and fires in very short powerful bursts. As you will see right now. Our good friend Billy here is helping us with the demonstration. Go on boys. <laughs> We're supposed to have flanks in the weapon, dude, what the fuck? Alright, for this next demonstration, I have to tell you that if the weapon is too big to come out from the table, it will come out of that platform right over there. Alright, let me explain what these are. When you choose either one of these, the next weapon that comes out from the mixer will have a human shape or form in one way or another. It's very simple, actually. Let's just go straight for it and choose this city character, for example. And let's choose a bunch of knives, like let's choose the karambit. The gut knife, M9 bayonet, and a flip knife. And if we combine these, out comes what I call... CS Goro. Goro is a character from Mortal Kombat. He has four arms as well, that explains the name. This combination is fantastic for knife rounds. Fantastic for any round, to be honest. I mean, you get to hold four knives, or four pistols, or... Two rifles, you can rush in with a spraying P90 and op someone at the same goddamn time. You can defend yourself while defusing a bomb, you can throw four grenades, there's so many possibilities. But most importantly, threesomes become so much easier. I think it's time boys. I've made three of these weapon combination videos already, this is the fourth one. And from the very beginning you've been asking me to combine every single weapon on the weapon mixer. And yes, finally I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna combine every single goddamn weapon on this Weapon Mixer 6000. I have not seen what comes out when you do that. And much like you, I'm very interested as well. So no further to do, let's get to work. Let's just start from the top left corner and choose every single weapon on the panel. I mean, yeah, it's a bit of a tedious process, but you asked for it though. I mean, I could speed this up easily, but I gotta get over that 10 minute mark though, man. I mean, you gotta understand me here. Actually, that won't matter if this video gets demonetized, and it probably will because, I mean, I kinda show the guy getting ripped in half. But I censored all the f**ks though, so I got that on my side. Let's just finish up by choosing the vodka. <laughs> it gets me every time. And let's go and pull the ultimate switch. And the only thing that's left right now is pressing the mighty combine button. And let's do it. Alright, now we wait. I mean, I wonder if it's gonna come out uh, from the table or the platform. Wait, what? Wait, wait, wait. Stop, 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 stop. There's something wrong. This is not supposed to be happening. What the hell just happened? <laughs> what the hell is going on? 
Who are you? Oh, no, 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 wait, 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 stop, 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 chill, chill. Wait, 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 stop, please, please. What the fuck? What the hell are you? We are Iron Blades. Uh.